wish I was gonna yeah. have one. Yeah. Um, for months on end, we'd, we'd heard that there was something in the works, all of us musicians had heard that there was something big in the works that Elvis was going to be involved in. We were thinking maybe it's going to be some fantastic movie role for him that mm -hmm. he can really get his teeth into and show what kind of a good actor he really was. Uh, then word started filtering out, no, it's going, to be, it's going to be a big show at Madison Square Garden or something like that. Then word came, no, we're going to go to Hawaii. Well, that's fine. We hadn't been to Hawaii in a while, uh, except for, for travel with him just for a vacation. Yeah. And then somebody let it slip out of the colonel's office that they were going to they were going to do a film. Well, we thought, okay, another documentary in Hawaii. Hey, that'd be nice. That would be really mm -hmm. nice because Elvis really loved Hawaii. Yeah. Well, close to the end of the, one of the Vegas gigs. Tom Diskin, uh, who worked for Colonel Parker, was his right-hand man and a very fine gentleman, rest his soul, uh, came to us and said, boys and girls, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a live broadcast show out of the HIC Center in Honolulu, and it's going to go worldwide via satellite. What do you think of that? We're going, whoa, because <laughs> nobody had ever, ever attempted anything like that before. Not even His Holiness in Rome had done anything like that. Um, so we're thinking, how are they going to accomplish that, you know? Elvis came to us and uh, called us up to his suite one night in, in Las Vegas and told us about it too. He said, this will be my crowning moment if we can, if we can do it. Mm -hmm. But his actual words, Lee, he never, he never considered it as his. He said, this will be our crowning moment yeah. if we can pull it off. So y'all want to go to Hawaii? Well, sure. <laughs> That'd be nice. so, yeah. so they set it up and we went to Hawaii and he was, he never looked better, except mm -hmm. in the, uh, in the uh, That's the Way It Is film, yeah. Elvis never looked better. He had, he had gone on a, a real strict diet. He was working out with weights every day, body weights as well as yeah. you know, regular gym things, and he was looking fantastic. Mm -hmm. And again, he was so excited because he had, he, it was a challenge. It was something to look forward to. That yeah. was the secret to Elvis's demise as well as his successes. Yeah. Was having something to look forward to. And this would be a big, big deal. So he was excited. Of course, we were excited for him. Must have been nerve wracking. Oh, yeah. Was that a billion people, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> well, it was, it was uh, let's see, on the original broadcast night, it went to 1.5 billion, that's with a B, yeah. people worldwide. Yeah. So he's, he, I'll, I'll never forget when we were there, um, getting set up and so the cameras could get their thing. Um, the director, Mr. Pacetta, came and Elvis was on stage and we're all gathered around him, listening to what he had to say. And Mr. Pacetta comes up and says, Elvis, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna build two winding staircases coming down on either side of your stage. We'll have dancing girls come down on either side of the stage, and uh, your band will be over here, your singers will be here and over there, and this, that, and the other. And to his credit, Elvis, again, being the gentleman I explained to you about, said, excuse me, Mr. Pacetta, that's not how it's going to be. Yeah. This is how it's going to be. My boys, my band, are going to be right here, my singers are going to be right here, and my orchestra can be right there. There will be no winding staircases. There will be no dancing girls. And if I don't, if this is not agreeable, we'll pack up and leave tonight, mm -hmm. and there will be no show. Colonel Parker comes steaming across the stage. What are you saying? What are you saying? Mr. Pacetta turned to the colonel and said, Elvis has made it real clear about how the show will be. Mm -hmm. uh, and the colonel said, what did he say? He said, don't worry about it, colonel. He's right. We're going to do the show just as Elvis has been doing it, except it's going to be worldwide broadcast. Yeah. Yeah. So he was excited about it, and we were excited because he stood up for himself finally. Yeah. And said, no, this is how it's going to be. But very politely. Yeah. Very politely. So it was a crowning moment. Oh, it was a crowning moment. Gosh, the, the audience, there was 3,000 people, 4,000, 5,000 people at the HIC. I don't know, I can't remember exactly how many. But, you know, there were two shows, actually. Mm. The first one, the night before the major broadcast, was basically 
uh, dress rehearsal. That's what we were told. That's what Elvis was told too. Right. But and it was basically it was for the uh, the satellite guys to get all their ducks in a row to make sure that all their equipment worked right and that they had the signals right and whatever mm -hmm. goes into that. I don't know. I can't program a VCR, much less know <laughs> how <laughs> these satellite things work. But actually, it was a complete show, and it was to raise money for the Cui Lee Cancer Foundation. Yeah. Uh, and it did raise a lot of money for the Cui yeah. Lee thing. Elvis Smith spoke on stage when he said to raise $75,000. Uh, no, it was $250,000 actually they raised. Okay, uh, the Aloha show went out from Hawaii at one in the morning. Yeah. So gone two in the morning, your show finishes, you must all be really tired, and yet you were all asked to come back on stage. And was, was there all that planned? Did you all know about that in advance? Or? No, we, we did not know. Um, we were just, we were told, hey, after the show, everybody free to go back to your hotel and do whatever you're going to do. I think all of us had, had made dates with some nice ladies or something. And um, But then word came, don't leave, don't leave. we got to do some fill-in songs. Fill-in songs? What do you mean? Well, Mr. Pesetta said, don't leave, get back out on stage. Well, by that time, it was so hot and humid in you know, Hawaii that we were drenched, you know, and our, our stage clothes were wet, and we're tired. We were emotionally tired as well as physically tired because the show had had gone so beautifully, mm -hmm. you know. And, and Elvis, being the sport he was, came out there and uh, said, okay, all right, we'll do, we'll do some fill-in songs for you, Mr. Pesetta. And we did. We did uh, well. My signature song, uh, "Early Morning Rain," you know, where you see me up in the corner yep. playing. Um, that took approximately an hour to get all the things done with the yeah. fill-in songs. So by that time, we're looking at three thirty or four in the morning. Yeah. And by that time, whoever was waiting for us <laughs> had gotten tired of waiting. I'm sure had gone. Um, but but Elvis was a good sport about it. He. Yeah. He was tired too. I mean, you could see it in his face. Mm. But he very gamely said, All right, this is what we'll do. Did Elvis 